In this video, we're going to go over how can we identify if what we have is a linear pattern or not using our TI Inspire. So we're going to start from our home page right here. And the first place that we're going to go is to this green sort of like icon that says list and spreadsheet. So we're going to press on that. And this is what we're going to have. It looks sort of like an Excel sheet. The first thing that I want you to notice is that you have this icon right here. What that means is a tag. And you should always start by labeling or naming your variables in your, your columns in this way, in this case. So we're going to go right here to A. And I'm going to label this column X. So I'm going to press X. Then I will go to B. And this is going to be my Y. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create sort of like a table here using this spreadsheet. For now, we're going to stay away from the cells with the equal sign. We're not going to use them. So we're going to start from number one. And what we're doing right here is we're going to put our values. In this case, this is going to be my X values. So we're going to put one. And we're going to go down. Two. Three and four. So now we're going to go to the y values and we're going to start with negative one, then one, three, and five. Now I want you to notice right here that uh, my number right now is on the left side. Well, you can kind of think of this as the inspired is not being able to see this number right now because it's not considering the number to be entered into the data. So until you go down to the next cell, notice how the number goes now to the right. This will be very important because until the number appears on the right, that is when the inspired can actually notice the number. So after we put in our t-chart in our spreadsheet, we are going to go back to the home button. So we're going to press the key on. Now we are back here to our main menu, our main screen. And now, instead of going to list and spreadsheet, we're going to go to the very next one, which is data and statistics. So we're going to press on it. And something that I want you to notice is these are the combinations of X and Y that we had before. And notice how up here we have 1.1 and 1.2. This function sort of like slides. So the second one is the list and spreadsheet, the data and uh, statistics. And the list and spreadsheet is going to be the very first one. So this is the, what we did before. Now we just added a different one right here. So from my XY combinations that I input before, notice how now they are kind of like out of order. And here I notice that I'm able to, they actually request me to click to add a variable. So we're going to click right here. And we know that this is the x-axis, so I'm going to select the variable x. And then up here, I'm going to lay, uh, I know this is my y-axis, so I'm going to select the variable y. And now you can see your points in the right order. If your points line up like this one, sort of like in a straight line, you can determine that this is going to be a linear pattern or a linear function. So... Remember, if it's a straight line, it's a linear pattern. But let's say that doesn't look like that. So let, we're going to go now. I'm going to show you. We're going to go back to 1.1. And I'm going to change this value just for you to see how that would look like. So let's say that the first one, it's a 5. The second one, it's a negative 2. The third one, it's a 4. And this one, it's a uh, negative 1. So again, until the number goes to the right, like this, now the calculator will be able to use it. So we're going to go to our next slide. Now it looks kind of out of order because we are using different numbers. So when this happens to you, the only thing that you have to do is go to the menu. Number five, window zoom. And then notice how you have this option right here, zoom data. If you click on it, what the calculator will do is adjust so you are able to see all of your data, which is your points. In this case, you can see how there is no way that a straight line will touch every single one of the points. Therefore, this is not a linear pattern.